I'm Nick Stonecipher. And I'm Braden Dyerson. Welcome to the Wraparound, Valentine's Day edition. What are your guys' Valentine's plans this year? Probably class. Like a romantic class or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were to, you know, say anything to all the single people this year, what would you say? Don't let Valentine's Day get you down because it is a hallmark holiday used to make a profit off of a bunch of people. So you're technically saving a lot of money. So what you're saying is their sadness equates to save dollars. Exactly. That's sweet. So there are many types of love that can be uh, expressed on Valentine's Day? Yes, I actually heard on a podcast once, apparently romantic love and friendship love are processed exactly the same by your brain. That's crazy. Did you know that this is an award-winning podcast? This one that I'm on right now? How's stuff going on with the boyfriend? It's good. That's good? Yeah. Did you settle? Do you believe it would be cost efficient for you guys to break up for one night so you don't have to spend money on Valentine's Day? Uh, probably not, because I feel like if I wanted to save money, I just wouldn't take her out. <laughs> what would you say to all the single people on Valentine's Day this year? Stay strong. <laughs> you guys got it. <laughs> Do you guys have any love advice for the people out there? Don't go for the people who look like toothpicks. Mm -hmm. They'll know what that means. Can, can I know what that means? Can you specify real quick? If you look like a toothpick, you probably have the personality of one. And then, like, you know, they're kind of like for everyone. Do you have any love advice for anybody this year? If you find someone that you are interested in, go ahead and shoot your shot. We heard some love advice previously that, um, in quotes, um, if he looks like a toothpick, he probably acts like a toothpick. Do you believe this is true? Um, I'm all for believing in vibes. Uh, I would never judge a book by its cover, but if he's got toothpick vibes, sorry to say it, but you might want to back off. Trying to find love at the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, it's not easy. I'm Nick Stonecipher. And I'm Braden Dyerson. And this has been The Wraparound. Be sure to subscribe to all of our social media platforms. And may you find love this Valentine's Day. Thank you.